Okay, today we continue with some insights uh, from the Book of Secrets. And today's uh, insight is about uh, the world and your body and everything else being a mirror of your state of awareness. Everything I'm experiencing reflects myself. Therefore, I don't have to try and escape. There's nowhere to escape to. And as long as I see myself as the creator of my reality, I wouldn't want to escape even if I could. My life is part of every other life. My connection to all living things makes it impossible that I have enemies. I feel no need to oppose, resist, conquer, or destroy. I have no need to control anyone or anything, I can affect change by transforming the only thing that I have ever had control of in the first place, which is myself. Changing your reality to accommodate this secret, to truly possess this secret, the world is a mirror, and your body is a mirror, and your mind is a mirror, begin to see yourself as co-creator in everything that happens to you. Once and this, by the way, the S people would cause uh, call uh, cause in the matter. Uh, something that I found very interesting. One simple exercise is to sit wherever you are and look around. As your gaze falls in the chair, a picture, the color of the walls in your room, say to yourself, "This stands for me. This too stands for me." Everything that you see is a modified uh, activity of yourself. It, you know, that which we call an object is obviously a perceptual activity. And that perceptual activity goes with this perceptual activity, which goes with that perceptual activity. In other words, your biology, which includes your body and mind, and the world that you experience are correlates. Your bio biology is the correlate. Your body is the biological correlate of the world that you experience, and it's changing. The only thing that's not changing is the awareness in which the body, mind, and the world are synchronistically uh, entangled as change. And that change is nothing but changing sensations, perceptions, images, and feelings. To truly possess the secret, see everything as a reflection of yourself. Let your awareness take in everything. Now ask yourself, do I see order or disorder? Do I see my uniqueness? Do I see how I really feel? Do I see what I really want? Some things in your environment will speak instantly to these questions, while others won't. A bright, cheerfully painted apartment open to the light stands for a diff very different state of mind than a dark basement efficiency. Yet a cluttered desk piled high with papers could stand for quite a few things. Inner disorder, fear of meeting one's obligations, accepting too much responsibility, ignoring mundane details, on and on. This is the evidence, this. This is the evidence of your state of awareness. So this consistency is valid because we each express and at the same time hide who we are. Some of the time you express who you are, while at other times you detach from your real feelings, deny them or found, find outlets that feel socially acceptable. If that sofa was bought just because it was cheap and you decided to make do, if the wall color is white because you didn't care what color you looked at, or if you're afraid to throw out a picture because your in-laws gave it to you as a present, you're still seeing symbols of how you feel. Everything that you see is a symbol of how you feel. Without dwelling on details, it's possible to scan someone's personal space and fairly accurately discern if that person is satisfied or dissatisfied with life has a strong or weak sense of personal identity, is a conformist or non-conformist, values order over chaos, feels optimistic or hopeless. 
Now step into your social world. And when you are with your family or friends, listen to your inner ear with your inner ear, with your inner ear to what is going on. Ask yourself, do I hear happiness? Does being with these people make me feel alive and alert? Is there an undertone of fatigue? Is there a familiar routine or are these people really responding to each other? However you answer these questions, you're assessing your world and what is going on inside you. Other people, like the objects in your surroundings, are a mirror. Now turn on the evening news and instead of watching it as if events are happening out there, tune in personally, ask yourself, does this world I see feel safe or unsafe? Do I feel the fear and dismay of a disaster or am I just being titillated? and entertained. When the news is bad, am I still watching basically to be entertained? What part of me does this program stand for? The, the, the part that dwells on one problem after another or the part that wants to find the answers? So try this exercise. It develops a new kind of awareness. You begin to break the habit of seeing yourself as an isolated, separate identity. The realization dawns that the whole world is actually nowhere but inside you. But that inside you is not the mind. The mind is also inside that you. That inside you is not this body, changing body. It's also inside the real you and this world. It's all correlated as a unified experience. So what is life? Life is a continuum of experiences. And we call these space-time events and they're changing constantly at the speed of light. But our perceptual activity gives us the experience of either fast change, slow change, or no change, because you know the change is so rapid that you don't even notice the change. Take your own selfie and compare it with a selfie one month ago and 10 years from now, lots of change. So. That's life's journey, a series of space-time events from fertilizer, ovum, zygote, embryo, baby, toddler, young adult, teenager, mature adult, all the way to dusty death. So you're not any of that. The world and this body are modified expressions of the timeless self. And in every moment, the world is a mirror and your body is part of the world. You're not an outsider looking at the world. The body and the world go together. This is freedom, by the way, to know that uh, you are right now creating the experience, mind, body, and world. And where is this experience happening? Out here, just here. Every time, ask yourself, where am I? And remind yourself, I'm here. And here contains this, 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 all this, all that everything as a mirror next time we'll continue with the new exercise okay